Now you should follow suit and just get to the bay. People gon' talk either good or it's bad. Let's see people gon' talk either good or it's bad. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Empress Can Show. So today we are going to go over zodiac signs as all American characters. If you're watching this, you probably should be up to date on the show. Let's just start off with that. So let's get started with first character, Spencer. All right, Spencer. First of all, did y'all know Spencer is from England? He British. He talked like, hello, my name's Spencer. Yes, I play Spencer on All American. Spencer is very hardworking, very disciplined, very ambitious person. You know what I'm saying? Like he really is passionate about his football career. He's really passionate about his community. He works hard. He goes hard for everything he put his mind to. You feel me? He's going to work 110% harder than anybody else on the court, or on the field. Right, that's that sport, field, football. Very responsible, you know what I'm saying? He takes care of his brother Dylan, like that's his son sometimes. Highly ambitious individual, very hardworking, very driven. I chose him to be a Capricorn. Capricorns are a lot like that, you know what I mean? Think about Capricorns, they work really hard, but they can be really stubborn too. Spencer is also like stubborn. When he first moved to Beverly, he was still going back and forth between Beverly and Crenshaw. Everybody was telling him like, you need to stop doing that. You feel me? Like, you don't get in trouble. You need to focus on your school. Well, he keep doing it. Then he got in trouble. Even though Jordan was the one that snitched, but whatever. Sometimes you can't really tell him nothing. He just really like, nah, I'm finna do it anyway. He be trying to fight gang bangers and stuff. He ain't even strapped. Hey, watch yourself. You the same piece of nothing you were in grade school. You know that? On to the next, Miss Olivia. She's so pretty. First of all, I honestly think that Olivia and Spencer are gonna end up together because they chemistry just be off the chain. Olivia always liked Spencer, but I don't keep feeling like Spencer kind of like Olivia too. I don't know what the writers are doing, but we'll see. But Olivia, she cares a lot about her family and her loved ones. She makes sure that she looks out for her loved ones. But she's also very wishy-washy. One minute, she a drug addict. The next minute, she not. One minute, she wanna be with Asher. The next minute, she don't. One minute, she wanna be Layla Fran. The next minute, she don't. You see what I'm saying? Like, she just be back and forth. So she's a Gemini. Gemini's can be very back and forth, indecisive, very hesitant when it comes to commitment. And she can be very impulsive too. She was feeling like nobody was paying attention to her, so she started taking shots. What are you doing? You are a recovering alcoholic. What are y'all doing? Put that bottle down. On to the next one, Jordan her twin brother he's very persistent as far as like he wants what he wants and he's gonna go after it and get it he's not gonna stop he's also very loyal especially with his fake baby mama who not really his baby mama so you know simone hicks then she's pregnant with your kid you're gonna man up and do something about it the kid's not mine you need to handle your business he is so loyal to her because he loves her like, that's how scorpio i gave it away okay he's a scorpio i chose him to be scorpio that's how scorpios are like they're very loyal to the people that they love they'll go hard for those people he's also very curious scorpios can be very curious kind of secretive I have this little like slickness to them. You gotta watch out for them. When he was sneaking around with his granddaddy after his daddy told him, leave him alone. He ain't no good. And what the dude do? Pimp him for some money, like a lane. He just real sneaky. He the one that snitched on Spencer in the first place. Well, it's a sneaky ass. But he's also very flirtatious, a little ladies man. You know what I mean? And that's kind of how Scorpios are. They definitely are seductive creatures. Jordan had all of the ladies, okay? On to Darnell. Oh my God. Let's just have a moment of silence for the gods of beauty that blessed this man. Okay, we're not even going. I just, I'm a little thirsty. If you see this though, what's up? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not just kidding. Yeah, you definitely look good. You know you look good. It's fine. Anyway, what's come out? Right, right. So Darnell, he's super laid back. He's super chill. He's like such a cool kid. You know what I'm saying? He don't do too much. He's super smooth. He's independent. He's kind of like on his own. He came to LA to be with Spencer's dad, who also was kind of like his dad too. He was in Nevada. And I don't know why they say Nevada, West Coast. They be like Nevada. I don't know if it's because I'm from Chicago. We always say Nevada. I don't know. Nevada. Nevada. Why is the A short or is it long? No, ah, short. Anyway, he was staying out there, I think, by himself. Like his mom was overseas or something. Like, how was you in high school just by yourself? How did you just move to... But anyway, very independent. Highly emotionally intelligent creature. So I chose him to be a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, they're very laid back. They are mutable signs. They can be changing. You know what I mean? They're not always fixed in one set way. So sometimes Darnell, he showed us his little aggressive side when he got mad. When he thought Spencer knew something about his dad. Nah, I think you do. You got two seconds to get your hands off me, homie. Your little bitch ass must have did or said something because you could have stand the fact that I'm more of a son to him than you will ever be. 
they got that little fire to them. But at the same time, they can still be chill and real laid back. That's that mutable quality. They think deeper, very profoundly. And I feel like he kind of helped Spencer kind of deal with his anger with his dad. I know that you feel this type of way about your dad, but you also need to look at the fact that what he taught you, you know, your dad taught me this. And that's what was able to kind of help Spencer and his dad kind of mend their relationship before he passed away. But what's the next one? Coach Baker. He's very empathetic. He relates to Spencer coming from the hood. I think he used the line, I know what it feels to have a weight of community on your shoulders, but that's not your burden to carry. He understands what people are feeling. Asher was doing steroids. He helped him out because he understood that he was struggling. He understood that Asher was a good kid. He has a very strong moral compass. He's not one to be played. He's not trying to take bribes. He's not trying to take the easy way out. He don't want these boosters running him. It ain't gonna matter how many championships that lead us to. I am constantly going to keep trying to prove my worth to you and the boosters. And I ain't about that life. Thanks, but no thanks. I am officially resigning as head coach of the Beverly Eagles. Nine, no lame, period. So I chose him to be a Pisces because Pisces have very strong morals. They're the types of people that know what's right and what's wrong. And people do things that are wrong. They're just like, how dare you? I just can't even believe that you would do such a thing. Like, they're very emotional. They feel things just deeper than others. And they're also problem solvers. And Coach Baker is a great problem solver. He saw a problem in the Beverly community and he brought somebody from another community, his community, to help solve said problem. Or when Jordan, was like, I'm gonna fail this drug test. What shorty do? He says, swap, swap. All right, that's fixed. Next, we have Asher. Asher, he's a bit stubborn, a bit unwavering. You know what I mean? When he's trying to go after something, he's gonna go after it relentlessly. He did that with Olivia. He was on her heels, bro. And he did not stop until she was his girlfriend. He's so relentless when it comes to football because he feel like that's all he got. So he working hard, putting in overtime, getting on the field, making sure he doing everything he can do. And to the point where shorty start taking steroids. How you gonna take steroids what you doing i chose him to be a taurus because tauruses are stubborn and they're also very unwavering like you can't tell them anything you can't change their mind they know what they need to do don't talk to me about what i need to do i know what i need to do like that's how tauruses are it's like they're very bullheaded that's why they're the bull but they overcome adversity when life tries to beat them down they ain't gonna stay down long they're gonna be like you know what i ain't taking this no more i'm going to keep going that earth sign that rigid groundedness that they have that's naturally within them to like just keep pushing and keep putting in the work and tauruses also have a deep care and concern for who they love which is why they fight so hard for the people they love and that's the reason why i feel the way he do about olivia he saw olivia about to drink at a party he snatched that cup so quick like what are you doing Shari? coop oh coop i love coop coop is hard working as well very analytical she's so observant she pays attention to everything she knows spencer is mad she knows spencer upset she knows spencer lying to her she tends to overthink a lot she can be very hard on herself so i chose her to be a virgo because virgos are perfectionists coop she knows she good right you know she can rap but then at the same time she still second guess herself she still feel like maybe i'm not good enough and then when patients start getting on she was like well damn like, what's wrong with me she started beating up on herself or then when she got on to the stage and she was doing that battle rap with little fizz little lady man. she gonna freeze up when he start going on her bro bro you got it don't second guess yourself like when he started talking about her now she's like i guess you're right about me they killed him just because of that now somebody gotta tell his mommy that her son is dead and that's more than sad you feeling dumb i bet Cause now it's daughter like when my daddy coming back. Like, come on now, G. You gotta have some thicker skin than that. But that's how Virgos can be. When things aren't going their way, when they fail at something, they just ready to just give up. It's just like the end of the world to them. On the patience. Okay, patience is, she's so cute. I love patience. She's such a beautiful girl. She's very energetic, very bubbly. She has like a very vivacious personality. Oh, she's a fire sign. She gives me very fire sign vibes. So I chose her to be Aries because she's flirtatious, but she's fierce too. Like, you can't talk to her crazy. She still got that feistiness to her, but it's very like saucy. It's very <clears throat> spice, like Aries are. She's not gonna sugarcoat anything. She's not gonna say it nicely. She's gonna tell you what it is. She's gonna tell you about yourself. And if you don't, you got an issue with it, then oh well, what's up? When Coop start tripping, she's like, all right, I'm done talking to you. I'm gone. And who started lying first? So you punishing me for the JP mistake? What do this. Like you freaked out because JP was more interested in me as an artist than he was in you. And now you're freaking out because I'm still friends with my ex-girlfriend. I think we should just take some time apart. Back to me. Aries, when they get fed up, they fed up. And she a rider. You saw how she threw that gun in the river? Aries ride hard for the people they love. They willing to fight and go to war for the people they love because they're ruled by the planet of Mars, which is the planet of war. Right, on to the next 
person, which is Spencer's mom. She's very loving, very nurturing, very sweet. She's a more softer character. She has like a softer strength to her. Her kids are her main priority. Care about her kids so much, she's willing to let her son go live with another family, a better opportunity for him. And that's a strong mother. Like that's a real strong mom. So I chose her to be Cancer because Cancers are very caring and loving and nurturing, kinder people. What's wrong, baby? It was just one game. You always bounce back. You know, she cares about the community. Like, cancers are really like those types of people. They want to help the world. They want to help everybody around them. They just want to help everybody. She's so genuine. When they came out that her and Billy Baker had an affair, she was like, let me go talk to his wife because I know how that would feel if that was me and I'm not, I'm wrong for that. You know, that takes a special type of person to care about others' feelings and put yourself in a predicament where it's like you owning up to what you did wrong. And I think that was very admirable of her for sure. All right, on to Dylan. Spencer's little brother. So he is so clever, so quick witted. Like he always got a quick comeback. He's so intelligent too. Like he's so smart for his age, ahead of his time, I would say. Look at the mouth. Yeah, my text man, I've been blowing you up. I figured I'd do what you've been doing to me lately. Take two hours to hit you back. You wanna hit up your favorite okay? No, with you. Very inquisitive too. Like he always asking questions. What, huh? What was that? What, what about that? So I chose him to be a Libra. Libras are extroverted people for the most part. You know, they're very social beings in general. They do have their moments when they want to just chill and like you need to leave them alone because they didn't have enough social interactions for today. But for the most part, they enjoy being around social settings. They're not most of the time introverted types of people. But you know, Libras got that little like sarcasticness to them because they're so intelligent. They have like a very heightened sense of intellect. I'm the smart smartest in the room. And I feel like that's how Dylan is. But hey, he might be the smartest in the room. I don't know. Miss Layla Keating. Layla, very sweet girl. She's very creative too. She writes and she produces music. She has a real natural ear, natural talent for it. She puts together events. Just a very creative individual. And she's like a humanitarian. She wants to give back. She's also kind of unpredictable. You see what I'm saying? So I chose her to be an Aquarius because Aquarius are like that. First of all, they're very creative people, very humanitarian. But on the other side, she's very unpredictable. She kind of got a lot of emotional baggage that she keeps inside of herself and it kind of makes her more colder. Aquarius says you kind of just never know with them. Like sometimes they seem sweet and other times it's just like yikes icicles you know what I mean and they can be very harsh with their words like when Layla was going through what she was going through because she was dealing with the problems with her dad trying to figure out what's going on with her mom's death like she was a whole new person in school cashing out throwing her money everywhere she has to go stay in rehab she's also slow to trust others she keeps people at very like arm's length because she just you know what I'm saying she keeps it's, it's a very coldness to her I don't remember how my dad told me about my mom I just remember time standing still Like right now. You can't get too close. I feel like that's how Aquarius are. Only so far that they let you in until they feel that they can trust you enough to let you in. And until then, you're gonna stay right the Finally, our last sign, which is a Leo the vivacious attention seeking leos but they're fun people jj come on now jj honestly jj they, they need to give him more parts on this show because every time jj on the screen i'm laughing like jj is so funny to me i love jj he just like the life of the party just all over the place he always doing some crazy wild stuff he loud when layla was throwing jordan and olivia party because she was trying to get back at her dad and she was trying to get back at them too i don't know what she was doing she's trying to do some sneaky stuff she gonna call jj she know jj down for the crazy shenanigans JJ JJ always doing something wild because he just don't like that type of person. Hey, listen up, bitches. It's time for hide and go. Get it. Okay, the rules are simple. Guys, hide anywhere in the house. Girls, try and find us. So JJ is definitely a lead. Yo, Leos love, 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 love attention. So much so that they seek it. They just thrive on it. They just, everyone look at me. And that's how JJ is. Standing on some tables, screaming at everybody. As a that is definitely Leo energy. So I chose JJ to be Leo. That is all I have for you today on the All-American Characters. Stay tuned for more Zodiac videos. See you next time.